In art circles worldwide, Edmund Capon is a greatly loved and respected figure. On a recent fleeting trip to London, we caught up at the Royal Academy and Edmund reminisced, discussing personal highlights from his remarkable 32-year career as the director of the Art Gallery of New South Wales. I asked him to narrow it down to just a handful of his favourites. Two I particularly remember. The first was Orientalism, which was, I think, in the sort of mid-90s or thereabouts, because it was a theme that nobody had tackled, really. And it put into the context some of our, you know, some of the more arcane pictures uh, in the Art Gallery of South Wales. And it was, it was a bit of an eye-opener for people. They'd never thought about you know, the, the European artists' uh, tentative and uh, engagements with the exotic world of, of the Near East. And that was, a, that was a, and of course, Pointers, you know, the Queen of Sheba was one of the, the great uh, pictures in that show. So that, the other one, we, we, we had the Olympics, you remember? The, I certainly That do. great festival of running, jumping and standing Absolutely. still. And we had to do a, a show, and I thought, well, I've got to do a show about the human figure. And I, I cast my mind back to an exhibition that Michael Craig Martin did at the Whitechapel called Drawing the Line. Uh, must have been, it, was, it was an amazing show about artists drawing. And, and I remember seeing, for example, a Barnett Newman drawing next to a Leonardo drawing. And I thought, this is understanding about artists using line. And I thought, let's do, I'm gonna borrow that idea and do it drawing the figure. So we started with Michelangelo, came right up to the present day about uh, artists drawing the human figure. And you could draw these amazing parallels. Absolutely, I remember the show well, and I remember and the works from the 16th century. Well, and you can see where the Cubists found out there. I know, exactly, there there was the, but the, I think one of the greatest ones was de Kooning next yes. to Tintoretto. Absolutely, I remember it well. It was and it was, it, it was one of the shows that I really enjoyed you know, dreaming up and then actually um, contributing to its realisation. What do you miss after 32 years at the Academy? Well, I have to say, look, when you, when you have done that for a long time, and it was a completely all-consuming job. Seven to days all, and seven nights. Yeah, seven all-consuming all job. And I thought when I, uh, I leave, uh, that's going to leave a very big hole in one's life. But the extraordinary thing is, uh, and I actually didn't think I was capable of doing this, I closed the door, left, and that door has remained firmly closed. Mm. So there's, uh, uh, it, we just moved on to other, to other things. And with so many other things that you've moved on to, do you, do you sometimes think to yourself, gosh, I, perhaps I should have moved on earlier and got on with all these other things I'm doing, because it seems to me that you now have another five or six careers. No, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I, no, there's no, there's no point in thinking that in any way, there's no point, uh, uh, the, you can't, um, you can't rewrite that, any part of your life like that. Too remarkable, isn't so it? that, so, so that's it, you, the, it's done, and uh, move on. Well, it's uh, curious that something can consume you 24-7 for yeah. two years, and you yeah. can move on. I mean, yeah. it's a very healthy state of mind, very healthy attitude. You don't even miss the gossip around the photocopy on a Monday morning? Well, that wasn't the place for gossip. The best place for gossip <laughs> was actually in the corridor, because that's why I banned meetings. You know, I tried to ban meetings. <laughs> Didn't succeed, of course. So thank you very much, and congratulations. Thanks. Thank you, Justin. What's happened since. <laughs> and uh, thank you for 32 wonderful years. And you know, 32 more years' time, when you hit 85 years old, you'll have lots more stories that's, to tell us. Yes, I, 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 I'll have lots more stories to tell you long before then, because I have <laughs> every intention of getting up to as much mischief as I possibly can. Well, call me if you need a, 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 a wingman. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Justin.